Your habits will shape the person you become. There's no doubt about that. So today, I'd like to share seven daily habits that can radically change your life before you find yourself traveling down a less favorable path. But these habits will only work if you actually commit to them. Number one, create standards and live by them. Having standards in life is just as important as remembering to breathe, meaning they're a must if you want to live a life that doesn't feel out of your control. Now, what type of standards am I talking about? Well, if you don't currently have these in place, I'd encourage you to one, create standards in your decision making, two, create standards in regards to your relationships and friendships, what you will and will not accept, and number three, create standards for yourself, what you will and will not do personally. See, decision fatigue, toxic relationships, and feeling trapped living a life you don't like are all real things and feelings for most people. And when we fail to create standards in these areas of our life, then we're leaving ourselves open to becoming vulnerable and susceptible to these very things. And that's honestly the last thing you want to do because dealing with these feelings aren't fun. And I wouldn't wish that on anyone. However, if you're already struggling with either of these, here's a bit of advice to help ease your mind. For starters, you are not alone. There are many people, including myself, who are or have experienced the exact feelings you feel. So don't be afraid to lean on someone you trust and open up about the feelings you feel. Sometimes a simple conversation with someone who's been where you are and is headed where you want to go is all it takes to gain the confidence you need to create those standards in your life that would drastically change your life for the better. Number two, hit pause before acting. In this day and age, it's a common reality to live life at two times, three times, sometimes four times normal speed, meaning we're always rushing from one thing to the next, normalizing the busy lifestyle and hustle culture that is often sought after as a path to success. But when you live life in the fast lane, you're bound to make unwise decisions and costly mistakes. So it's always best, regardless of your profession, hobby, or interest, to slow down and hit pause for a second or two before acting. Maybe it's as simple as taking a deep breath before continuing, or giving yourself a full day or two to step back and clear your mind. However, at the very least, you should consider the following questions before taking action on anything. How would this decision impact my life? Will my future self thank me for this choice? And does it reflect my values? And if not, is there a better option? Number three, simplify your belongings. As someone who lives a minimalist life, it's probably not a surprise to you that I think decluttering is a must-do habit for improving and changing your life. So if you're not already, consider letting go of some things that are no longer serving a purpose in your life. Think unused kitchen gadgets, decor and knickknacks, clothes are also a big one. Anything that you're not using, wearing, or have a need for are things you should consider decluttering. Now, after that, you should become extremely intentional about what you bring back into your life and space. Take clothes, for example, because you really don't need as much as you think you do, but the items you do decide to own should be pieces that you love and feel comfortable in. Now, if you're looking for a minimalist t-shirt, fellas, I suggest checking out Cuts. This color I have on, I probably wear the most, other than black and gray, but <laughs> that's just me. They do have other colors if that's your thing. In fact, I have a 15% off code that I'll link to below. Now, ladies, I did not forget about you, so I asked my wife what she would suggest, and I'll leave a few options below for you as well. Number four, be present in the moment. A big part of being present in life is having the ability to be aware of when you are and when you aren't being present. A simple way of doing or managing this is by asking ourselves, am I being present in this moment? Am I consciously choosing to be aware of what's important right now, on the things that matter, on the people and relationships that matter. See, it doesn't matter what's going on with the outside world. When you practice the art of mindfulness and being present in moments that actually matter, it'll definitely change your life for the better. Number five, express how you feel. Bottling up your emotions is probably, no, it is the worst habit you could have. And I'm saying this from experience because this is the exact reason I started journaling and writing poetry. For some reason, my emotions have always been difficult for me to express in plain conversation. But when it comes to writing, at least for me, it's easier. And I generally feel a million times better when my thoughts are tattooed on the pages of any notebook in sight. So for the last decade of my life, journaling and I have become best friends. Two peas in a pod, some would say. Now, daily journaling is something that I feel is a very powerful yet extremely underutilized habit. And if you're not writing, whether it's creatively, professionally, or while you're laying in bed just to vent your emotions, then I highly want to encourage you to give it a shot. 
Journaling is both emotionally healing and an easy way to help you declutter your mind. So if you feel overwhelmed, unsure, lost, or all of the above, I want to encourage you to try journaling, as I've said. And if you need help, I'll link to a video I did that's filled with journaling tips to help you heal and grow. Number six, break a sweat. This habit is as simple as it gets. Get up and get moving. That's it. It doesn't matter if you're running, walking, lifting weights, or doing yoga in your living room. As long as you're moving enough to get your heart rate up and break a sweat, then you'll be well on your way to changing your life from a health perspective. Now, this definitely warrants a separate conversation, maybe a deep dive guide into how to live a healthy and simple life. Everything from food to fitness, sleep, and creativity. But for the sake of breaking a sweat, if you're curious about what I do to stay active, I'll leave a link to a video I did where I share my workout routine below. Number seven, manage your money. Being intentional and purposeful about every dollar you spend will without a doubt change your life for the better. I can't stress this enough. I know personally, when I decided to learn how to manage my money properly, my entire financial life took a major shift in a new direction. And now I'm married, living a debt-free life without a financial worry in sight because I took the time to learn what I didn't know and then apply those learnings to my life in the form of daily habits. Now, I'd love to and plan to share more of my financial journey with you. I feel it's only right to show you what I'm learning because I think we'd all agree that financial literacy is a major missing component in our education system. So until that changes, it'll be up to us to learn and teach each other so our children's children, children don't have to figure it out on the fly like we did. I hope you enjoyed this conversation and found it valuable and practical. And if you did, give it a thumbs up for me and comment below. I'd love to continue this conversation. Keep growing, keep learning, and always stay true to you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.